Millionaires are very eager to invest. They know that wealth accumulation is most successful in investments, so they take caution with the do's and don'ts to truly succeed. Hi, welcome to Grace and Finance. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to invest like the rich in 2022 so you can make the right decisions and become financially successful in the future. To be able to succeed in life, one of the most helpful ways is to look up successful people and study the different ways they took their financial success forward. This is very much applicable when it comes to investing. Many people spend hours and hours to study about the different strategies and methods people like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger have. But even these successful people had people they looked up to for success. Take, for instance, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett learned much of his strategies and methods from Benjamin Graham, the author of the book Intelligent Investor. All of these investment moguls have one thing to advise about investments. Know what investments you should avoid as it is equally important as choosing what investment you should go for. While investments may seem like a sweet deal for everyone who wants to grow their wealth, they can actually cost you money in the long run. Knowing what investment to choose will avoid this scenario in the future. At number 1. Penny Stocks A penny stock in the stock exchange is a stock that trades for less than $5 per share. Millionaires often avoid this investment at all costs for various reasons. First, the Security and Exchange Commission, or SEC, doesn't mandate companies that trade low-value shares to register on them. They also are not mandated to pass annual reports to the SEC, which means that there is no way to know how valid these companies' reports are on the financial information they claim to make. This would mean that it will be hard to trust these companies precisely because you're unable to get access to credible financial information, vital to know the value of what you're holding. If people were to argue, however, that penny stocks do have the potential for great investment gain, millionaires still don't recommend this investment. This is because of another reason. Penny stocks have a low level of liquidity, which means that if you dispose of your stocks, you might not get your money back quickly. These types of stocks may take a while to find a buyer as most people don't invest in them. Popular stocks can be traded thousands of times a day. Penny stocks, on the other hand, are sold and bought less often. With this, the price of these stocks are also heavily affected. Volatile investments like these are hard to manage as you can't really estimate the real value of your holdings. You'll only get stressed with the extreme levels of rising and dip of your money over time. Number 2. Digital Currencies Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been popular for the last few years. While there are people who made a significant amount of money through Bitcoin, millionaires still avoid this type of investment. The first problem with this investment is that there is no government regulation on them. Without this regulation, there is no oversight on how the company works behind the scenes. This problem leaves tremendous doubt for investors, especially when huge amounts of investment money is at stake. The second problem is that they are much like penny stocks, that they have no inherent value and the price is speculative. For cryptocurrencies, extreme levels of their rising and dips heavily depend on their popularity with investors. In December 2017, the price of a single Bitcoin rose to more than 17,000 US dollars. But when its popularity cooled down, its prices began to extremely decrease with a value of only $3,000 after a year of its peak. The last problem about cryptocurrencies is that they will have extreme risk of hackers stealing your investment. In 2016, an incident of hacking and theft was done in Bitfenix, a Bitcoin company. They lost a great amount of money, which amounted to $17 million. Hacking is not uncommon for Bitcoin companies. In fact, one-third of all Bitcoin exchange suffered from being hacked at some point, according to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. With all these risks presented, it's no wonder why millionaires always avoid this kind of investment. Number 3. Collectibles Arts, classic cars, antiques, and others are all collectibles, and they're actually a huge business. In 2012, this business was worth $362 million and is expected to rise every year. Even with this, however, millionaires still want to avoid this kind of investment for a few reasons. First, they don't have a defined price on them. They're only worth how much people are willing to pay for them. Collectibles are very similar to cryptocurrencies. They are only worth how much people think they're worth. 
A painting that may seem valuable to you wouldn't have the same value for other people unless they collectively agree it is valuable enough to pay you good money for it. Second, they don't really generate income. While there may be some gratification in looking at your collectibles now, they won't really give you money monthly, as a lot of these collectibles grow over time. Lastly, they may be hard to sell. On getting your money from this investment, you need to find the right buyer for it. Finding the right buyer may take a while for you. Thus, you will need to wait quite a while to be able to get your money. At number 4. Bonds this investment can be seen in wealthy people's portfolios. However, there are issues with this one. First, the returns are not as high as you would expect. In fact, they're very low compared to investing in stocks instead. Bonds almost cannot keep up with inflation. On average, the annual earnings can come out to be a mere 3%. Let's take, for example, the US inflation rate of 2% annually. This means that you will only have 1% of net profit. A $50,000 investment will only get you $500 of net return. But even when they have much lower yields than stocks, people still invest in them because they're low-risk investments. You can get your money fairly quick when you decide to dispose of them, and they tend to pay you interest. The fact that it generates a low return, however, doesn't make this investment a tool to generate your wealth. They're more for wealth preservation. This is why you should never invest a large amount of money in this investment. Number 5. Certificates of Deposits Certificate of Deposits, or CDs for short, offer an interest premium in exchange for agreeing to leave a lump sum of money on your account untouched for a predetermined amount of time. This offer is a product offered by banks or credit unions. CDs are actually very similar to bonds. They don't offer that much of a return as you will also struggle a lot with inflation. However, one upside of CDs is that they're usually on short terms, which means they're not much of a risk. In its entirety, CDs aren't that bad of an investment. However, if you're looking for an investment that will really make you wealthy and make your wealth accumulation quicker to reach its goals, then this kind of investment is really not for you. Number 6. Precious Metals Rich people don't really invest their money into precious metals like gold. It is true, however, that investing in these precious metals can act as a safeguard in an unpredictable economy. When stocks and bonds go down, gold and other precious metals increase in value. When they go up, however, these precious metals go down in value. Now you may think that's a good deal, but in reality, the increase in value of these precious metals will not be enough to make up for your loss if there's an economic downturn. This makes this safeguard not really that efficient. They can also become quite difficult to sell. If you ever encounter financial difficulty and have to sell your precious metals as soon as possible, they may not be able to be sold at the time that you would really need them to. Warren Buffett argues that stocks would make a better investment than gold, as it generates a better return of money. Stocks can extremely multiply your money in an investment. Gold, on the other hand, wouldn't even give you half the money your stock investment gave in return. Number 7. Companies you don't understand Stocks is a type of investment that millionaires would recommend you to have. However, not all stocks can be good for your investment. Only invest in companies that you understand. In reality, there are a lot of companies out there that will be very complex for investors to even comprehend. Only invest in companies under your circle of competence. The circle of competence is where your investing expertise is at, and every business under it should be considered to be worthy of an investment. Investing in stocks is a great way to multiply your wealth, but you should always know which companies you should invest your money into and which ones you shouldn't. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to press like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep you posted on new helpful videos.